Hey guys, with the PS4 right around the corner and remote play being a feature that Sony is heavily pushing for the Vita and for the PS4, I just felt that it was time to make a video about getting your Vita PS4 ready before the PS4 comes out. So um, there's only a couple peripherals that you'll need and I'll have both the links in the, in the description, but first I'll describe it. So let's get rid of the Vita for a second. This is a DualShock 3. So for the DualShock 3 you have convex uh, sticks, which are a major, have been always been a major staple of Sony uh, systems. Um, you know, the mushy analogs that a lot of people were complaining about, they're there though. Um, <clears throat> you know, you have your circle, your circle, triangle, square, uh, across everything that, you know, the Vita has. So, uh, you know, some of the main complaints about this controller though were the fact that the sticks were close, really close together, your thumbs hit, wasn't a real issue for me, but it is kind of an issue in first person shooters. And the fact that a lot of people like uh, concave sticks, not convex sticks. I personally prefer convex sticks, but whatever. It's probably because I'm used to this controller. But anyway, so, um, you know, that's basically DualShock 3. The Vita was designed with convex sticks also to match this, but as many of you have already seen, PS4 is coming out very soon. This is a DualShock 4. So, the DualShock 4 looks similar on the surface. You know, the buttons are in the same order, same color. Uh, the D-pad appears similar, but the main difference, okay, is, are the sticks. The sticks are concave, as you can clearly see. They're not convex, they're not circles, they're, they have little divots for your hands to stick into. Uh, and also the, the triggers here, um, are, uh, are, well, they're a lot better. Actually, this is the only second time I'm holding it. I just bought it. I just unboxed it right now. This feels pretty good. Um, but the triggers feel a little different. So, uh, and, and aside from, like, the options and the share and the touchpad and everything, those are the main differences. So people who are console gamers on Sony systems are quickly going to get used to the concave sticks as opposed to the convex sticks. Even if you preferred convex sticks like I did, you are going to get used to the concave sticks and soon maybe even prefer them. Who knows? So... Where does this leave the Vita? That's the question. With convex sticks, and uh, of course with no R2 and L2, it has to use the back touch, which can easily be uh, touched by accident. So I'm going to give you two pointers, two things that you can buy to alleviate some of these problems, okay? So let's get the DualShock 3 out of here. Bring back the Vita. So maybe you guys didn't notice, but take a look at my analog sticks. Notice that they're concave now. They're not convex. They have little, let's see if I can actually zoom in here. They have a little, you know, they're, they're concave. They have a little, uh, I put a little cap on them. So these caps are called, uh, they're blue cell analog stick covers. And I'm putting the link in my description. The pack comes with, I think, um, uh, a set of three. You know, you have, con you have some options. You have convex options, you have concave options and everything. But these are one of the concave options that came with them. And they feel great. They're kind of hard to put on. You really have to push down hard in order to get them on. But once they click, they're not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, I put them on once and, you know, I haven't bothered to take them off because they, you know, they, they have never fallen off by accident and they're great. They feel, feel, they feel really good. They feel actually pretty similar to the concave design of the PS4, uh, of the DualShock 4 rather. So, uh, you know, you are getting that. And like, if you're going to like, you know, spend a lot of time, especially in remote play and you want a more seamless experience, I would suggest getting these so that your sticks will be concave just like on the DualShock 4. But that doesn't really solve the problem of the buttons. So in shooters, you're going to be using L2 and R2 maybe to throw grenades. Well, you know, primarily for shooting, but, you know, if on Vita, you're going to be using uh, L2 and R2 to shoot grenades because you only have two triggers. This will be your aim. This will be your shoot. So in first-person shooters, but how are you going to huck grenades? How are you going to sprint? How are you going to... Uh, knife or or or, or anything or, or shoot second and Call of Duty. You have actually your your flash grenades and your main grenades are in your R2 and L2 on PS3. So how are you going to do that? So of course they solve this problem by using the back touchpad. But as many of you know, many Vita owners know, or people who have heard on the internet, you hit this by accident all the time, all the time. So you know you have it in your hands. Your your you know your your hands go nicely over here, but sometimes you you know your fingers creep over and you accidentally hit this. To have really important buttons there, you're going to be hitting that back accent all the time. So, what I found, which solved both that problem and the problem that, you know, the Vita isn't a controller, it's, a, it's an oval. You know, you're holding an oval. Whereas here, you're actually holding, you know, you have two things to hold on to. What I found to alleviate this, both those problems, is the Nyko Power Grip. Okay? I can't recommend this thing enough. 
So to get it on, you just slap it in here, click that in, pull this down, it's on. So, you know, first and foremost, you have these things here. The back has these nice little grip handles, um, you know, that you can hold on to. Um, you know, and it feels like a controller. It doesn't necessarily feel like a DualShock 4 or a DualShock 3, but it feels like a controller, you know? And uh, so you, you have this. So that solves the problem of the form factor, but it also inadvertently solves the back touch problem. And I'll show you why. Over here, you have these nice little grooves to rest your fingers on instead of these, you know, little tiny grooves on the side here that you can easily slip over. My middle finger and index fingers rest right here comfortably. Not a problem at all. So I, I like, you know, reaching the back is actually an intentional, deliberate movement in order to touch the back. And I have tried this with games that rely heavily on, um, you know, R2 and L2 and, uh, you know, with remote play on PS3 and it worked fine. It works great. You know, you just reach over, you touch the back when you need to. If not, your fingers are resting there. It's not a problem. You're never hitting it by accident. And, you know, it's not perfect. I wouldn't say that it's an ideal design. Definitely an R2 and L2 on the Vita would be better, but this is the next best thing. So, so for those of you, just to recap, um, in order to make the DualShock, your, your Vita ready to be played, uh, you know, heavily for PS4 games, since that is a PS4 feature, not really a, PS4, a PS3 feature, you want that form factor first, buy those Nyko power grips, which get the form factor right, and don't let you hit the R2 and L2 uh, by accident on the back, on the back touchpad, and especially, you know, actually L3 uh, and R3 too are going to be back here at the bottom. Uh, and also buy the Blue Cell trigger grips. I'm going to put all the links in my description. And actually, I think you can pick uh, the Nyko Power Grip up on at, uh, I got this at, uh, at GameStop, so it's not going to be an issue to get. Anyway, so uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.